Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, this particular prophetic word is a prophetic word that I learned. And this is strictly about you. Uh, this is strictly about you. The one you love is very sick. The one you love is very sick. You know, one thing about me is I'll tell you the way it is. I'll tell you the way it is. Now, before I go ahead, let me introduce myself to you. Please, if you're watching me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord rewards your consistency. My prayer is that God blesses you differently. My prayer is that God finally grants your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, this prophetic word, I it has been ringing in my spirit as a reminder, but not as a prophetic word that I heard from God. This is a prophetic word that has been ringing as a reminder, as a reminder. Now, what am I insinuating? What am I trying to say? My pastor, one of our female pastors, from our main branch, Christ Light Assemblies Cameroon, Pastor Igwe. You know, there was a midweek service that she was supposed to minister. She was supposed to do a ministration. And when she came on the pulpit, while we were waiting on her to minister, to bless us, she gave us this amazing title. And then she said, the one you love is sick. Oh, goodness. The one I love is sick. The one you love is sick. Now, when she said this, you know, it was like, okay, okay, what are you trying to say? And then she started preaching. And while this amazing pastor was preaching, there was power. Everybody, I would say, was so touched by that amazing message. And I'm going to tell you what happened after that. But ever since, it's been ringing in my spirit, it's been ringing in my mind. This has been ringing for a long time. And I said, this particular prophetic word is talking about you. It's talking about you specifically. The word is talking, it's not talking about, it's not talking about now. Now let me tell you something. We have been so made to be curious so much so that we want to hear, oh, what is happening? Is it happening to this particular person? Is this happening to my brother? Is this happening to my lover? Is this happening to this particular person? No. What she, what she taught us that day, she said, she spoke about servants of God. She spoke about a servant of God. And then she spoke about this person, like God loved this amazing person. But this is what I've been going through. I've been going through worriness. I've been going through down moments. I have sinned. I have done a lot of things. Lord, I've come to you for repentance. I've come to you so that you can see me again. She thought about that particular message and that changed my life. Because you're watching me right now. You have a lot you're going through that nobody knows. People know that she knows how to pray. She knows how to serve God. But there is something that keeps disturbing you. There is a disturbance in your spirit. There is a worriness in your spirit. You would come before God today. If you have watched this particular prophetic word up to this stage, up to this level, up to this extent, you will come before God today and you will say, God, the one you love is sick. That is me. You're worried right now. You're not okay right now. This is that moment where you surrender it to God. This is the time where you surrender it to God. 
The Bible says, touch my, they touch not my anointed, touch, uh, uh, do not touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You are God's anointed. You are God's prophet. Nobody's touching you, but something is eating you up in the inside. Something is happening to you. If you have watched this session, if you have watched this prophetic word up to this stage, up to this level, up to this prophetic stage, I want you to please type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, Lord, the one you love is sick. Lord, the one you love is sick. That is me. That is me. I am sick. Help me, Lord. This is where you cry for help. The Bible says, I lift up my eyes to the hills from where it's come at my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Now, I'm speaking this and I feel the presence of God. The one you love is sick. Lord, the one you love is sick. That is me. I am sick of worriness. I am sick of stress. I am sick of hatred. I am sick of depression. I am sick of delay. I am sick of stagnation. I am sick of poverty. I am sick of... You will mention it. You will connect yourself. As you're saying it, there is about to be a release. The power of God will be released on you so heavily, so, so, so heavily. The power of God will be released on you so powerfully. As you're seeing it, you're being released. The one you love is sick. I come in agreement with you right now. I pray for you because the Bible says, and on that day, every yoke shall be taken. Everybody shall be taken off thy shoulders and every yoke of thy neck, all because of the anointing. And on that day, every body shall be taken off thy shoulders and every yoke of thy neck, all because of the anointing. I make a prayer for you right now. As you mention them, let the Lord heal you in the name of Jesus. God is healing and delivering you. Poverty, lack and wants, receive healing and deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Edebaradabasutaya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. This has been ringing in my spirit. God bless Pastor Igwe. This has been ringing in my spirit. Lord, the one you love is sick. I thought I shared this with us. It will bless you. It will bless you. Release it right now. Begin to release it. Begin to release it in the name of Jesus, amen. It's settled in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I beg you that you please kindly stretch out your hands and pray for me too. Thank you for your prayers as you're led by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Please do not forget to share. Always learn to share. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.